Good evening and praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us for our Wednesday Bible study here at Good News. God is good and we're excited about the word. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Hey Amen. I'm really excited for another night of Wednesday night Bible study. We're so happy you're here. And as always, if it's your first time joining us, we hope you get something out of the message. Let's go ahead and start with a word of prayer. Praise God. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to speak your word to your people. We pray that as we move forward, to be all you and none of us, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So last week, we kind of wrapped up our, our talk about the fruit of the Spirit and the, yes. those, the attributes of the fruit of the Spirit develop in our lives and how the Holy Spirit gives us power and how that power allows us to be God's witnesses throughout the world and be good witnesses for Him and develop attributes in our lives so that we are... So show people the love of God and who God is through us. Mm -hmm. And as we were kind of talking about them, just kind of debriefing afterwards, we kind of started talking about different things in our lives and how we're supposed to be led by the Spirit and how we have to control what we say every, every single day. And yes. how when you're controlling what you're saying, that's not just, doesn't start with what, when the words actually come out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. it, comes, it starts long before that. Yes. It starts with your thoughts. And mm -hmm. you have to control your thoughts and to control your thoughts, you have to abide by what the Bible says. You mm -hmm. have to pray the word, mm -hmm. speak the word, always meditate on, like the Bible says, meditate on the word day and night. And if you do that, that'll, control, that'll change your thoughts and help you walk by the Spirit, mm -hmm. and it'll change who you are. It'll help you actually develop these attributes and make sure that they are, make sure your life is aligning with what God says it should be. Yes. You know, it's interesting because sometimes you have different things you're thinking in your mind mm -hmm. and you have not expressed it, you have not said it. Yeah. Then all of a sudden it comes out and you say it. You say, oh, I didn't mean to say that, but that was your, your thoughts mm -hmm. that was deep down rooted inside that yes. you had been thinking, meditating on. Mm -hmm. And so as a result, it came out. Mm -hmm. So it's so important that we make sure that our thoughts are lining up with what the mm -hmm. word of God says and lining up with what we truly want for our mm -hmm. life and what we want to do for our life. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about when we're reading in the fruit of the spirit, we went to Gal in Galatians where we read what the fruit of the spirit are. Yeah. You know, the Amplified says that if we're going to walk the walk, you know, it says, well, it essentially says, if we're going to walk the walk, we have to talk, if we're going to talk the talk, we have to walk the walk. Yes. You know, I said, yes. if we're going to say we walk, live by the spirit, we have to walk by the spirit as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. so. One scripture mm -hmm. that comes to mind that I like to say to let the words in my mouth and the meditation of my heart mm -hmm be acceptable in your sight. And sometimes you can find yourself thinking something, you don't want that. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure you change and you start to say, okay, Lord, let it be acceptable to you. Let it be words that are from your word in the way you want me to be, mm -hmm. and not just what I'm thinking, not what the world is saying, yeah. but what you're saying. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. You know, it all, it's all about what you put inside of you, you know? Yes. If you're constantly hearing doubt and hearing all the Crazy thing going, crazy things going on in the world, and that's all you listen to. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to go in you, and that's what's mm -hmm. going to come out. Yes. But if you're constantly filling yourself up with, um, with the Word of God, filling mm -hmm. up with what God said, and yes. like let that control your thoughts, mm -hmm. that's what's going to come out eventually. Exactly. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. know kind of reminds me. I saw a video the other day talking. About, it was talking about how changing what's on the inside, mm -hmm. and it was like a, it was basically a glass full of like really dirty looking water, mm -hmm. and they were saying how you know what you do is they start filling it up with clean water. Mm. And then as they filled it up, as they, it was full of the dirty water, but mm. as they kept pouring the clean water in, yes. it slowly pushed out all the dirty water. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by the time it was done, it mm -hmm. was all clean. Praise God, yes. And that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. You have to replace all the other, the negative stuff, the bad stuff with mm -hmm. what God says. Mm -hmm. And just keep pouring in what the word of God says and it'll, eat, it'll replace everything else. Kind of reminds me of what Pastor said in his message Sunday concerning mm -hmm. when there's darkness if you turn the light on, the darkness has to go. Yes. Mm -hmm. So just like filling that glass up with good, the dark, the bad has to go mm -hmm. out. And that light comes when you turn that light on. And the light is the word of God. Amen. Praise Amen. God. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's mm -hmm. go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And in 2 Corinthians 10, we're going to read, start at verse 3. And it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing to captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. And what I really want to bring out there is where it says, bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Yes. You know, a lot of times, you know, like we're talking about our thoughts and everything, mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that can kind of come through your head. You know, you're always being... <laughs> 
everywhere you look, you're being bombarded with so many things. You yes. know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And mm -hmm. it's really hard, like, you know, you can't even walk out your door sometimes without some crazy thing being thrown at you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the way the world is these days. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you are filling up, filling up your mind, filling up, bring your, cap, bring your thoughts captive to the, be, to the obedience of Christ. Yes. So that when those things hit you, they just bounce off and go, you know, yes. and move on. Mm -hmm. They don't get in there and sink down into your spirit and get mm -hmm. into your, you know, and get inside of you. That's part of casting down. Mm -hmm. You got to cast down imagination of the every high thing. It's a, something we have to make sure that we focus and we decide we're going to do. Yes. It's a choice. Amen. Yeah, it's it a choice. It's truly a choice, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now let's go over to Second First Corinthians chapter 2. And in 1 Corinthians 2, we're going to read verse, start at verse 9. Okay. And I'll read out the NLT. It says, That is what the scriptures mean when they say, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. But it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit. For his spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit. So we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us. When we tell you these things, we do not use words that come from human wisdom. Instead, we speak words given to us by the spirit, using the spirit's words to explain spiritual truths. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's spirit. It all sounds foolish to them, and they can't understand it for only those who are spiritual can understand what the spirit means. Those who are spiritual can evaluate all things, but they themselves cannot be evaluated for, by others. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to teach him? But we understand these things, for we have the mind of Christ. Praise God, glory to God. Amen. Boy, there's a lot in that. A whole lot Praise there, God. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So kind of, you know, just at the beginning, it says no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mm -hmm. mind has imagined. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of showing that our, our earthly minds, we cannot fully comprehend on our own what God has planned for us. Yes. So if we're over here using what the world gives us, what we naturally think to be what we should do with our lives, mm -hmm. that's not the way it works. Mm -hmm. that, that's not going to get us what God wants us to yes. have. And we're not going to be able to walk in the spirit and be the witnesses he's called us to be because we're not thinking the way he does. Amen. Amen. God has prepared, he, God has prepared a whole lot more, so much more than we can possibly imagine. Yes. And, his thoughts and his ways and his spirit mm -hmm. are what we need to be able to achieve those things. And yes. if we're trying to do it our own way, yes. we're, that's not going to work. That reminds me when you said prepare for them that love him. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can have a meal that's, oh, this was really prepared. Yeah. This is excellent. It's an excellent meal, everything, because it was prepared and it took time. Yeah. And it's saying here that God has prepared this life for us because he loves us. Mm -hmm. It's not just something he threw together and said, oh, they can have <laughs> this for a life, but it's a prepared life just for us. Mm -hmm. We each have our purpose and his plan for us. And that is just an awesome thing to think about. It, is, it, really it says is. no eye has seen or hear. So mm -hmm. we have to stay in the spirit in order to receive what he has for us. But he's prepared it for us. Mm -hmm. And it's ours alone. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But it said, but God has revealed them to us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Amen. And then. I like how it says in verse 13, it says, instead we speak words given to us by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you don't spend time with the Word in the Word of God, spend time with God, spend time in, you know, in the Spirit, praying in the Spirit, yes. you won't be able to get hear these words that no. He gives us to speak. True, yes. So you have to renew your mind, st stay in the Word of God, mm -hmm. so that when the Spirit speaks to you, you hear this, and mm -hmm. you are able to say what He calls, mm -hmm. what He says. And if you're comfortable with something, if you're comfortable with the Spirit speaking, you can hear it. And it's, it won't be, as we said last week, something loud and um, thunder and all this, but it'll be in quietly in your mm -hmm. spirit, and you can receive it, and you can do what He's telling you to do. Amen. Praise and God. also, you know, like you said, if you're comfortable with it, mm -hmm. you know, when someone walks in a room and says, I'm an expert on this, mm -hmm. if you don't know them, or mm -hmm. they can say all they, they can say they're an expert on everything, but if you don't know them, you're not comfortable, you don't trust mm -hmm. them, yes. you're not gonna take what they say as true, mm -hmm. you're not gonna trust them. Mm -hmm. But if you've spent time with them and you have proven that they have, that they are an expert on that, yes. that's when you're gonna be able to trust them and say what they say. So, you know, 
spending time with the Holy Spirit, hearing what he's telling you mm -hmm. and like meditating on that and constantly spending more time with it, you're going to know that you can trust what the Holy Spirit is saying. And yes. It gives you more confidence saying those things that he says. So good. Yes. Very good. Mm hmm. Praise God. Amen. And then like how it wraps it up, says, for we have the mind of Christ. Yes. You know, this is something that we have to make sure that we believe. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's something that <laughs> a lot of things in the Bible, when you read them, you're like, am I allowed to say that? And it's <laughs> like, yes, you are. <laughs> yes. You know, when Jesus came, he said, you know, you will do all the things that I did and mm -hmm. even greater things. Yes. yes so you said we it. have the mind of Christ. We need mm -hmm. to believe that and confess that. Mm -hmm. And renew our mind to where we believe that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't believe it, I just keep saying it mm -hmm. because that's what he told you to have. But the thing about it, the reason we don't believe it and don't want to say it is because a lot of, sometimes you're thinking, think I'm still an old sinner saved by mm -hmm. grace. Yeah. I'm, I'm not worthy, you know. Mm -hmm. But it says here, we have the mind of yes. Christ. So mm -hmm. since we have it, we need to own it, own it yes. and receive it and do it. Mm -hmm. And so we are not just an old sinner saved by grace. We're no longer sinners. Yes. We're saved mm -hmm. by the grace of God. And mm -hmm. as a result, we're going to start, what we walk yes. and we do the things that he wants us to do Amen. and act in the way he wants us to act. Yes, we are. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Amen. So now let's go over to Philippians chapter 2. And we're going to read that out of a couple of different versions. We're going to read verse 5. Could you read it verse 5 of the KJV first? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. So, you know, it's just reiterating what we read in the last verse. Mm -hmm, and um, mm -hmm. the easy to read version it says, in your life together, think the way Jesus thought. Mm. So, you know, the way Jesus thought, that's the way we should be thinking. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuse me. And also in the Amplified Classic Edition, it says... Let the same attitude and purpose and humble mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Yes. Let him be your example in humility. Mm. You know, <laughs> same attitude, you know? Yes. Because oftentimes we don't want to have that attitude that Jesus mm -hmm. had. Because, you know, mm -hmm. he was, he, like I said, he was humble. He yes. had a purpose. He yes. went through a lot of things that mm -hmm. are hard. And, you know, people don't want to go through that. No. But the, mm -hmm. we have to have that same attitude yes. and same purpose. You know, he said if, you know, if someone hit, you know, slaps you, turn mm -hmm. the other cheek, you know, yes. give them the other cheek. You know, mm -hmm. you're supposed to go through these things. You're mm -hmm. not saying, well, people beat you up, but you mm -hmm. know, <laughs> it's, you know, it's the way like, you know, you have to live like Jesus did. Yes. He gave yes. us an example. We have to live like Yes, that. yes. And that was just the opposite of how the religious leaders and the mm -hmm. Pharisees and the, and the Sadducees, how they were living. And Jesus, he was living so much different from how they were mm -hmm. living. So, but we have to take the, the Take the high road. Yes. And the high road was living how Jesus lived. Mm -hmm. You know, they were the opposite of humble. Yes, he was very they really humble. were. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Now let's mm -hmm. go over to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And there we're going to read verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. That's Paul talking. Amen. So, you know, just the same thing. It's, you know, have the mind of Christ. Is that we have the mind of Christ. And yes. It's to think like, G like Jesus did. So mm -hmm. we follow him. We follow, you know, follow our leaders, mm -hmm. you know, as they follow Christ. You yes. Know? Uh -huh. They're, they, you know, they, you know, our pastor spends all the time, you know, in the word. Mm -hmm. So we have to follow him as he follows Christ. You mm -hmm. know, he gives us an example mm -hmm. and that's the way we should follow it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now let's go over to Ephesians chapter five. And there we're going to start at verse 1. It says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. And also, do we have another version? Yeah, Ephesians 5. I think that was it, not unless you want to read out of a different one. That's fine if you want to. Also, like how it says in the NLT, it says, Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, mm -hmm. because you are his dear children. Yes. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. Mm -hmm. He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. That word imitate is so key. Mm -hmm. When you're imitating someone, you know exactly what they're doing. As kids, we um, um, used to 
game, follow the leader. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as he's going, we're going, we're doing the same thing that person was doing. It, that, what was the game where, where if you did something Simon says, you know, you would yeah. do exactly what they said, but if you, Simon didn't say it, you wouldn't do it. So if, um, if, if it doesn't say it in the word, we don't mm -hmm. do it. We do what the word says. Amen. You know. <laughs> Amen. Now let's go over to Proverbs chapter 23. So, you know, as you're, you know, as you're <laughs> trying to imitate God, mm -hmm. if you believe that you can do what God, live the way God called you to do, yes. live mm -hmm. and do the things he's called you to do, you will be able to do those things. But if you don't think you can do that, you mm -hmm. won't be able to. Right. Mm -hmm. That goes back to how we were saying before, you, it's a mind thing. It's a, how are you believing yourself to be? Mm -hmm. If I'm a Christian and I'm living the way God told me to live, then I'm going to start imitating him, following him. But I have to make up my mind, this is something I can do. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because as we were doing the fruit of the spirit, the different attributes, attributes <laughs> it wasn't by feeling. No. It was by choice. Mm -hmm. So since we're going to go, if we're going to go by feeling, you don't, you're not going to always want, well, I feel like loving. I feel like being peaceful. I feel like being um, meek. You know, it, mm -hmm. all these things is not a feeling, but I choose to. Mm -hmm. I choose to have self-control. I choose this, I choose that. So all those different areas that we have to make sure that we are not trying to go just by feeling, but by what the Word of God says. It's a choice that we make. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Amen. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. um, in Proverbs 23, we're going to read verse 7. It says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Yes. So, you know, you know, basically, you know, whatever you think, you know, whatever you think you have, that's mm -hmm. what you have. So you yes. know, if you choose to if you choose to believe that you can do what God calls you to do, mm -hmm. you'll be able to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, the, over in Mark there was a man who asked Jesus to heal his son and said, If you are able. Mm -hmm. And Jesus mm -hmm. said, What do you mean if I'm able? Of course yes. I'm able. And he <laughs> said, I believe, help them my unbelief. Yes. So, you know, if you're yes. sitting there, you're like I don't believe I can do these things. You know, mm -hmm. there's no way I can do this because you mm -hmm. know came from the wrong place or mm -hmm. I've done the wrong thing. So yes. no, you need to believe that you can do it and yes. pray to God ask him to help your unbelief. Mm -hmm. that, that's, you know, the guy was so sincere mm -hmm. it, because when he said, if you can, it's like, what are you, <laughs> what are you yeah. saying? What are you talking about? If I can, of course I can, mm -hmm. but um, help my unbelief. And sometimes, like you said, there are times when it's like, um, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. Give me the capacity to receive what you say yes. I can have, mm -hmm. that I can do what you say I can do. And mm -hmm. as you keep confessing that and keep believing for it, it, it comes. It does. He doesn't leave us just high and dry. Well, forget them. That's not going to, you know, no. He gives you what you need. He does. Amen. Every time. Amen. So, yeah, now let's go over to Genesis chapter 11. Okay. And in Genesis chapter 11, we're going to read an example of where people, their thoughts are what became their words. And those are what used to ultimately, like, tear apart their entire plan. Yeah. <laughs> so this is um, the Tower of Babel. So we're going to start at verse 1, mm -hmm. and it says, I'll read it out the KJV, and it says, And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and brand them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach into heaven, and let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth, of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be strained from them which they have imagined to do. Mm -hmm. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of the, all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore, the name, therefore it is, is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound their language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad the, upon the face of the whole of all the earth. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So right here, you know, these people, they God said nothing that they have imagined to do will yes. be held back from mm -hmm, them. Mm -hmm. So if they... If they wanted to build a tower, they should have said, let's build this tower. Mm -hmm. But instead they said, so that we don't get scattered across the face of the mm -hmm. earth. Like, mm -hmm. you know, mess that up what happened. Mm -hmm. Because they thought that and opened that and let those words come out of their mouth, mm -hmm. that they imagined that, that could actually happen. Mm -hmm. And that's what actually happened. Mm -hmm. You know, their words, their thoughts became their words, and that's what they believed. 
And that's what happened to them. Yes. And their motives were completely their wrong. Their motives were horrible, yeah. Their, their motives were not of pleasing to God. But yet you, we can take this and see that it says whatever they imagined. Mm -hmm. Just think if they had imagined something great and good toward God, to God be the glory. Mm -hmm that would happen, yeah. but it's the same thing with us. When we can imagine in our spirits, in our mind, things that we can do that God will be pleased with, mm -hmm. there's no limit. Amen. There's no limit, eye has not seen nor ear heard. Yeah. Back um, in the other scriptures, so all we have to do is imagine it and make sure that as we're imagining it, that it's to please and to glorify God, that our motives are right. Amen, mm -hmm. you know, and on the flip side, you know, like on that way, on the track, you know, doing things that honor God, mm -hmm. David, yeah. you know, when he went up against Goliath, they mm -hmm. said, you can't defeat the giant. He mm -hmm. said, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. God was with me when I fought the lion and I fought the bear and I slew both of them. Yes. He'll be with me when I fight this giant mm -hmm. and, I, and I'll slay him. Yes. So, you yes. know, David, he believed and he thought in his mind, I can beat this guy. Yes. And that's exactly what happened, you know? Yeah. I like <laughs> the fact that in this story that David started pondering Okay, what happens if I do it? You know, right, yeah. it, the thought wasn't so much I, he's so big, but the thought was, look what I'll get when mm -hmm. I do it. Yeah. And so a lot of times when we stop looking at the problem, the size of the problem, and um, look at what we can get from conquering this problem through the power of God, yeah. We, we'll go forward. Amen. We'll go, not only go forward, but we'll run to it like yeah. David did, you know? There was never a moment when he considered the thought of failure no it was always what happens when i win like yes he like honestly it's like when he went in there mm -hmm. he was like oh yeah i can take care of that yeah and he's like wait before i go take care of that <laughs> what do i get if yeah. you know when mm -hmm. i win mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's like he knew that there was no way he was not gonna win that gave him the ammunition to go mm -hmm. that gave him the drive to say you know what i got this Amen. <laughs> yeah and then on top of that you know he was fully trusting in god the whole time mm -hmm. when he um when he went up against the giant, mm -hmm. he, um, he, like, he didn't take the armor or the weapons. Mm -mm. He said, I don't need any of that. Nope. Mm -mm. He took his slingshot and, his, mm -hmm. and the five stones mm -hmm. and he went after the giant, he mm -hmm. won. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But and it makes you go back here to the scripture again, eye has not seen nor ear heard what God has prepared for us. Mm -hmm. So if, we, if he has prepared it for us already, we need to run to it. Yes, we do. Running to that challenge that we have, that we know that God has um, placed before us, mm -hmm to take us to the next level. Amen, yeah, because you know, you know he's with you. So yes. if he's with you, there's no way you can lose. So Amen. why would you cower back? You know, mm -hmm. there's no chance of failure, so yes. run at it. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Now let's go over to 2 Timothy 1, chapter 1. In verse 7, it says... For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yes, yes. So right there, you know, David didn't have a spirit of fear. Neither no. do we. We mm -hmm. have a, a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the fruit of the Spirit talk about, you know, mm -hmm. one of the fruit of the Spirit is love, and other is self-control. And mm -hmm. self-control is a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of actually encompasses a lot of them, sound yes, mind. Yes, yes, it does. So, yeah. But this, when you said, but... Um, David didn't have that spirit of fear and neither do we, mm -hmm. but sometimes we might. Yes. So mm -hmm. what we do is we can we keep confessing to ourselves yes. the scripture and we keep renewing our mind to get to the place because many times some things have come up and I said, Lord, I thank you have not given me a spirit of fear, but a power and of love mm -hmm. and a sound mind. And why I'm saying it, the devil is still trying to bring that fear. That fear mm -hmm. is still there, yeah. but I keep rehearsing it. I keep saying it. Yes. And as I rehearse it more and more, I, I do it and I go and I see, victory all the way, yes. you know? But when we, um, it's so key to make sure that we're confessing what the word says. So mm -hmm. even when you might not be in a situation right now where you need it, keep confessing it. So when that time comes, it's already locked inside of you. Mm -hmm. It's not something, it's like something new. No, this is old. Mm -hmm. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. I can do this, I can yeah. go. Uh, kind of like when David was saying he killed the bear and the lion. Yeah, he, he said me, he yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if I'm practicing already that he hasn't given me this spirit of fear, when the time comes, I can go forth with power. Yeah. You know, the Bible says to be in, instant in season and out of season. Yes. So, you mm -hmm. know, be ready to go when you know you have to fight mm -hmm. and be also ready when you don't have to fight. You know, mm -hmm. a more like, like another way of saying it is like, you know, 
be, prepare for war in a time of peace. Yes, yes. You know, if mm -hmm. you start preparing for war when you know there's a fight coming, mm -hmm. you're not going to be ready in time. No, no. But mm -hmm. if you stay consistently prepared to defend to defend what you need to defend, yes. Mm -hmm. When they do, when when a fight comes up or when a war comes up, you're ready mm -hmm. to go already. Amen, amen. So mm -hmm. things that might be in your spirit and your mind that you know you are. Even though nothing's here, I'm mm -hmm. calling it for if, if something is in you that you know is not right, confess it. Yeah. Confess it. Laura, I thank mm -hmm. you. No spirit of fear here. Amen. A sound mind, self-control. I think yes. it said self-control last, last mm -hmm. week. So I thank you for self-control. I thank you for a sound yes. mind. I thank you for love. You know, getting yourself built up. Yeah, amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now let's go over to Proverbs chapter 25. And in Proverbs 25, we're going to read verse 28. And read that out of the KJV first. He that has no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Amen. That's why that self-control is so important. Mm -hmm. If you have no rule over yourself, over your spirit, over your thoughts, yep. over your mind, <clears throat> it's like a, a broken down a city without walls. Yeah. A city without walls, anything can come in and yeah. just take it over. Mm -hmm. You have no protection. None at all. You have nothing that you can lean back on and know that. That's why Jericho was so was such mm -hmm. a big Jericho, deal. Yeah. It, the walls were so big. It mm -hmm. was so um, stern and so solid. Yeah. No one could come in and no one could go out. Yeah. And so you, you know, we don't want to be like that. We want to have self-control. We want to have it where uh, no one, we are not like a broken down city without walls. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you have to yeah, you have to be able to protect yourself. If you have yes. no walls, if you have no self-control, like anything getting, you know, like a man who doesn't stand, a man who doesn't stand for something will fall for anything. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, no self-control, you won't be able to stand up for anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or stand against anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now let's go over to James chapter 1. We're dealing with self-control is something too that you have to have a made up mind ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You can't wait till it comes. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. like even if a, a couple, um, they're dating, they have to have up already in their mind what they're gonna do and what they, mm -hmm. they aren't gonna do. Yeah. That's with a married couple. No, someone might look good at work, I have somebody too who looks good, my wife, my husband, you know, mm -hmm. and I have self-control. I have a made up mind that I'm going to do what I have borders, I have boundaries, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to go past those. Amen. Amen. Now in um, James chapter 1, we're going to start at verse 4. And I'll read that out of the NLT. It says, so let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. Mm -hmm. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver. Yes. For a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. Mm -hmm. I like how in KJV it says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Mm, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, I like how it says, "If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and He'll give it yes. to you. He yes. won't rebuke you for asking." No. You know, God's mm -hmm. not going to be like, mm -hmm. "What is wrong with you? Why yeah. don't you have that?" <laughs> He's going to be like, "Thank you. Know, I'm glad you asked for yes. that. Let me help mm -hmm. you out here." Yes. Yes. And um, it says, "Make sure your faith is in God alone. Do not waver." You know, mm -hmm. like we said earlier. David, he had, there was no doubt in his mind he would win. Mm -hmm. There was no thought of failure. It was mm -hmm. only victory. Yes. He had mm -hmm. faith in God alone, not in the weapons, not in the armor. He yes. knew it was all in God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we have to be. Mm -hmm. We have to believe that God's going to be right there, mm -hmm. backing us up, yes. going before us, making mm -hmm. sure that we're going to be able to go and get the victory. Amen. Where we mess up is when we act like we have the wisdom that we don't. Mm -hmm. It says if you lack wisdom, yeah, ask. Just ask. But yeah. if I'm going to walk around here acting like I got, I got everything I need, you know, <laughs> then you're going you're gonna to fall short. You're mm -hmm. going to fall really short. Yeah. We need wisdom. We can ask for it. And he said, hey, take as much as you want. Mm -hmm. Liberally, he gives it to us. Amen. And you it's know, on us. It kind of reminds me of, 
and in the Gospels where it talks about um, the Pharisee and the tax collector when they went to pray, mm -hmm. how the Pharisee said, God, I thank you, I'm not like other people. Yeah. I do this and I do that yeah. for you and like all this stuff. Like mm -hmm. He's basically boasting in himself. Yes, yes. And then the tax, tax collector said, God, I'm not worthy to be here. He was humble. He yeah. asked God to forgive him for mm -hmm. all of his shortcomings. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, he said, that's where, that's the tax collector was the one who went justified, who left justified with God. Mm -hmm. He was the one who was humble. He asked God to, to help him. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's where he was right. He wasn't boasting in how great he was on no. the wonderful things he did. Yes, yes. And that's the way we have to be. We have to just ask God for help and he'll help us. Yes, praise God. And then Caleb, it says, let him ask in faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I ask in faith, I know I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> we said, if we know we ask the things, if we pray according to the will of God, mm -hmm. And we and pray his word, we have what we have petitioned. Mm -hmm. That's what the word says. So let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavers like a wave of the sea. But yeah. if I'm saying, Lord, I need this, I need that wisdom, oh, I, I have no wisdom. <laughs> you know, yeah. I can't think this out, you know, but no, don't waver, be strong, mm -hmm. be steadfast, knowing Amen. that God is going to give you what you ask for. You exactly. already have it by faith. Amen. Amen. Now let's go over to Titus chapter 2. And we're going to read verse, start at verse 11. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. How far did you teach? Uh, through 15. Oh, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify us unto himself, a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Amen. Praise God. So, you know, right here, it tells us things we should not do mm -hmm. and things we have to do. You know, yes. these are, mm -hmm. it, you know, if any of these things are like hard for you or like things you don't come naturally, you know, mm -hmm. pray to God like we started in the last verse. He'll, mm -hmm. he'll give it to you. Yes. He'll help you. Mm -hmm. But you have to pray it in faith and he'll, he'll, he'll fix it, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. and it, um, let's see. That blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And I like that part that we're a peculiar, peculiar people, mm -hmm. zealous of good works. We aren't just the any, anything, anything. No, we're peculiar. God has called us for a special plan and a purpose, Amen. and He's made us that way. Amen. You know, we're set apart. We're not yes. like we're not like a, we're not like other people. Amen. You know? Praise God. Amen. Praise God. All right, now let's go over to one more verse. Let's go to Ephesians chapter six. And we're gonna read verse 10. Mm -hmm. And verse 10 says, A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Yes. You know, right here, that just kind of, it kind of sums it all up, you know? Mm -hmm. Be it strong really in the Lord his mm -hmm. mighty, and his mighty power. You know, mm -hmm. God said he'll take care of you. He'll take care of you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also when we read verse 11, it says, put on, the full, put on all of God's armor mm -hmm. so you'll be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. Yes. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. Yes. Praise God. Amen. It says, against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Mm -hmm. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Yes. Amen. Amen. Good word. Good word. Amen. So, yes. You know, stand firm in what God has called yes. you to do. Mm -hmm. I like that. Be strong mm -hmm. in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yes. It's not by might nor by power, but by his spirit, yes, you know, and we're strong and we have the power of his might. As we were talking too, we were talking about how you have to make sure that you're confessing and saying the right things. Mm -hmm. And we, had, when we were talking before the lesson, we're talking about how certain things pastor has, well, um, confess and then we have to make sure we're confessing these things too mm -hmm. like it's things as, as small as if um you're trying to think of something it's like what was that and he'll say quickly and i'll say too um i had the mind of christ mm -hmm. 
It says, I have the mind of Christ, so um, I can't forget things, you know? Yeah, the it, the thank you. I was trying to think. I have the mind of Christ. I was trying to think what it was. So I had the mind of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Memory of righteous blessed, and I had the mind of Christ. So as you confess those things, and usually it just comes back around, like just mm -hmm. like that, but we have to make sure as we confess in these things that it will come and that we will be able to do what we have to do. So our confession and what we decide we're going to do and our choice of what, we th of what we're going to say concerning the word of God and what happens, it is so key. Amen. And we can just do it if we would just go in there. I mean, a lot of times from the other scriptures, from the other past summer teachings, it's like, how can I have all those attributes? We can do mm -hmm. it if we can just make up in our mind, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. You aren't, We aren't saying you're going to just have all these things just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. No, but we keep working at it. Yes. We keep working at it, and as we keep working at it, God is perfecting those things that concerns us. Amen. Praise Amen. God. You know, growing up, um, I used to watch these movies and TV shows, and it, said, it called the Bible the manual. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. the Bible's our manual for life. You don't just read the Bible like, cool, that's great, move mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. it's, it's supposed to teach us how to live our lives. Yes. So we're supposed to pray what the Bible says. Mm -hmm, you know, you find mm -hmm. a scripture, you pray that scripture, you just keep repeating it, yes. and that's how you get what you need here. Yes, yes. You know, it kind of reminds me, I shared this um, story before, this little kid, his mom, when he went to bed, she would always tell him, you're my Buzz Light, you're my Superman, you're my Batman, saying all these superheroes and everything that you are, and he would just be laying there and receiving it as yeah. she told him. And then one day they came home late and everybody was rushing. So she put him in the bed and th then she left and they went to bed. And all of a sudden she hears this, mom. <laughs> and then um, she runs in there, what's wrong? He said, you didn't tell me what I am. <laughs> yeah. So as we keep confessing who we are and what we are and what we can do, it'll become such a big part and strong mm -hmm. part of us. We'll say, you know what? God has prepared great and mighty things for me, and I'm ready to receive them. Amen. That, uh, Confess be, it until you believe it. Yes. And then keep confessing yes. it. Yes. And we can be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Amen. And Amen. we would do exploits, Amen. I tell you. Praise God. Amen. So if you're sitting at home and you know you aren't strong in the Lord and the power of His might, and you don't have a relationship with God, I want you to pray this prayer with us. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. You know my life. You know my life. You know how I've lived. You know how I've lived. I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my heart. And forgive me of my sins. And forgive me of my sins. I believe. I believe. That Jesus is the Son of God. That Jesus is the Son of God. And he died and rose again. And he died and rose again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. If you pray that prayer with us, you are now part of the body of Christ. Praise the Bible God. says when one soul is saved, all of heaven rejoices. So welcome to the family we're all rejoicing with you yes yes and also if you prayed that prayer we want you to give us a call or text us at 601-708-3550 we have a packet of information we want to send out to you to get you started on your walk with christ Amen. and also we want to be a resource for you <laughs> to make sure that you have everything you need to grow in your faith yes and get everything god has for you so again welcome to the family Amen. Praise Amen. God. So happy to have you. Praise God. At this time, I'd like to give you an opportunity to give to the Ministry of Good News. We believe that good news is good ground, and we would love to have you so. To give online, click the link in the description. To give via text, text GNCC. And the amount you want to give is 73256. 73256. Amen. And while you're preparing your offerings, I want to pray over them. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this word we received. Now as we prepare to return our tithes and sow our seeds, Father, we pray that our Seeds will go and they'll return to us a hundredfold return, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Well, we hope you enjoyed your time with us tonight. I know we both did. And um, as always, we're here every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And also, if you can't, and we are at our Florence location every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. If you can't make it to Florence this week, we hope you'll join our online service at 10 a.m. Praise God. And before you go, I want to bless you and I'll pray us out. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word we received. We pray that as we leave this place tonight, your presence, you'll bring it back to our memory, to the family we need, Father. Help us to constantly rely on you, Lord. Help us to pray, to pray the word, Father. Help us yes. to remember exactly what you said and yes. rely on you, Father, in everything that we do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, as Pastor Iowa says, God bless you and remain blessed. We'll see you next time. Praise God.